Hey guys, Abs here. In today's short video, I'm going to be sharing with you a real cool LSI tip. Now, what this tip's going to allow us to do is actually find LSI keywords from within our niche, um, and we're going to be getting the keywords from Google themselves. Now, if you're not sure of what LSI is, guys, then it stands for Latent Semantic Indexing, and it's all about the hidden meaning. Now, I actually put up a video tutorial last year towards October um, called Google and, and LSI Training. Um, it's helped many users. It, we've, we've received some real positive feedback guys and it's totally free um, and I really urge you to come along and watch it if you haven't watched it already it'll really give you an insight and an understanding to search um, what you might not already have um, so anyway guys um, I did actually share this tip inside of this video however we received a number of notes from users making us aware that you know the tips no longer working um, however the tip is still working and I'm gonna be showing you this tip now um, so it's real cool guys so follow along and I promise to make this as short as possible um, so anyway, the first thing that we need to do is go over to Google Drive, so Google Documents. When we're in Google Documents, guys, is create a new spreadsheet. When you create a new spreadsheet, you're going to get a spreadsheet like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to feed words inside of this spreadsheet, and we're going to get related LSI keywords from Google themselves. Now, guys, this is totally different from Google Suggest. It's totally different from, like, the Keyword Planner or anything like that, guys. What we're trying to get here is an, is an understanding of what Google associates within our niche with the keywords that we're going to be feeding it so I'm going to start off by giving some examples and showing you exactly how this works so in in the first cell what I'm going to do let's just say for example our niche is about chocolate so I'm going to type in chocolate and I just hope I don't make any spelling mistakes or we're not going to get anywhere so what I'm going to do I've typed in chocolate and now I'm going to I'm going to go over and highlight this field well I'm going to put the mouse back over the field on this cell guys um, and towards the bottom of the cell right hand side you can actually see a small box so I'm going to hover over this box until the actual um, the icon turns into a plus sign and then on my keyboard I'm going to I'm going to press and hold the control key and now with my mouse I'm going to left click and drag down and what Google's going to do now is going to automatically fill them uh, sorry it's going to automatically fill the cells uh, fill the cells sorry with suggestions based on the keyword that I gave it so from chocolate it's given cookies coffee food candy cake ice cream tea sweets and so much more I could have kept going now you might be thinking well okay our niche is about chocolate so how are cookies coffee you know food candy anything at all going to help us. Um, so what we need to understand is when Google groups keywords and terms and LSI keywords, then one term, so for example cookies, can be grouped with chocolate because they're both types of edible food. At the same time guys, um, co cookies can also be, I don't know, grouped with dough because dough because cookies are made from dough so what we need to do now is really narrow down and tell Google exactly what kind of keywords that we want and the way we can do this is we can actually fill in more than one cell so we'll stick with the same example as chocolate I'll go chocolate and in the next cell what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type in white chocolate so give me two moments let me type this in and you'll, you'll, you'll see exactly what's happening Okay, I hope I haven't spelled them wrong. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight both cells and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to hold the control key, left key on the mouse and drag down and now let Google um, actually fill them up. Now let's see what kind of suggestions we've got. Obviously, we've got chocolate, white chocolate, and then we've got dark chocolate, milk chocolate, chocolate truffles, candy, gourmet chocolate, truffles, caramel, chocolate gifts, chocolate bars, hot chocolate, chocolate covered, cocoa powder. Um, so as you can see from this, guys, we've just basically found out exactly what Google relates to our niche just by giving Google a couple of keywords and finding out exactly what they're grouping as LSI keywords. So anyway guys I'm sure you can find out exactly how useful this can be but I'm going to continue further on with some more examples just to show you exactly how we can get on just in case if you're still um, a little unsure of exactly what this can do. Personally what I would do here guys if I had a website I would actually use these as categories or silo pages. So for example, I could have chocolate as my main site, guys. I could have categories in there, white chocolate. I could have another category, dark chocolate. I could have another category, milk chocolate. Another category for, for example, chocolate glyph gifts. Another category for chocolate truffles. And inside of them categories, guys, I would have supporting articles for things like, um, I don't know, organic white chocolate, cheap white chocolate, premium white chocolate, if it was in the white chocolate one. And I have the same for dark chocolate, um, you know, 
um, exotic white dark chocolate or whatever guys um, so anyway this is exactly what you're going to be using LSI keywords for guys and then obviously you've got related keywords which you'd be using within the silo categories again I've got a whole video um, tutorial on silo structures and building your silo sites guys and I've just recently built a silo site and I've managed to get it to the first page of Google within three months for 12,000 um, word key phrase now, I'm not going to actually be revealing this niche, guys, because I've got so many more case studies to do. Um, but I can promise you silo structures, you building your sites tightly, close closely built around your LSI keywords and making them very related does work and it reduces the amount of links that you're going to actually need to rank in the search engines um, and this Google spreadsheet trick will really make sure that you're going to be building your sites um, very relevant not by how we see its relevance but by the relevance that Google sees itself so anyway let's go ahead and see some more examples I'm going to type in something like um, website promotion Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hover over this and I'm gonna pull it down. Now again, guys, some of these might be very far apart and the reason they're gonna be far apart is because we might have to tell Google a couple of more keywords. Again, you can do this with two, you can provide Google two keywords, three keywords, four keywords and tell Google to pull down and give you suggestions, well, LSI keywords. So website design, we've got web design, um, sorry, website promotion, we've got web design, SEO, web hosting, internet marketing, blogging, e-commerce, hosting. So we've got a lot of things about e-commerce and hosting. So what I'll do, I'll actually narrow it down. I'll go website promotion and I'll go search engine optimization. Now let's see if that tells Google that I'm really looking to talk about traffic um, as opposed to designing my website. So let's have a look. We've got web, pro we've got website promotion. We've got search engine optimization. We've got search engine marketing, fantastic. We've got pay per click, brilliant. We've got internet marketing, brilliant again. Search engine submission, search engine, pay per click advertising, website development, search for whatever that is, um, search engine optimization services and website design. So it's still, so it, I think it really depends on how much far you're gonna be pulling it down. If you're gonna force Google um, to give you lots and lots of um, LSI keywords, then your keywords might be related to other niches as well or other sets of LSI groups. Um, so let's give it another example as well. Let's type in something like Apple, okay, and um, I'm actually talking about apples and iPhones and Macs. So um, I'm not going to, if I do this like this, guys, um, it's going to tell me apples. Oh, okay, here we go. That's kind of funny, actually. It's telling me Apple, Samsung, Nokia, LG. Um, I would have turned around and, well, I would have thought that it would have said apple, pears, bananas, and give me a number of fruits. Um, but it hasn't. It's actually giving me different manufacturing names um, because Apple is so, oops, because Apple is so popular. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type in apple and iPhone. Okay, and I'm going to highlight both of these, hold the control key and drag down. And we've got Apple iPhone, Apple again. Okay, we've got Blackberry iPad. Okay, I want everything related to MacBooks and Apple and iPods. Okay, so I'm going to type in iPod now. So we're going to do it with three. And now we've got um, iPod, Apple, iPad, Mac, iTunes, MacBook, iMac, Android. Okay, we're still getting Android in there. Um, let's get rid of that and we'll type in mac hopefully we won't get any androids in there now and basically what we're doing now is really narrowing down everything so that google can only be very specific with the kind of results that it's going to be giving us um we can do something like iphone as well maybe apple isn't the best place to put it towards the top because we've got a manufacturer's name first um okay here we go that's fine okay so we've got apple iphone ipod mac iphone okay it's repeated there apple ipad basically repeating it. Okay, we've got iTunes, we've got Android again, we've got MacBook, iMac, um, iOS app. So anyway, guys, um, I'm sure you're getting a good understanding of exactly what I'm trying to explain here, guys, exactly what LSI keywords are um, and exactly how you can benefit from this as well. Um, we can have a look at something like weight loss as well, guys. Um, and we can have a look at lose weight, um, just so you get an understanding of exactly what I mean by LSI keywords. 
Okay, so if you're building a website, guys, um, around weight loss, then more than likely your categories are gonna include things like weight loss, lose weight, diet, fitness, exercise, weight loss program, health and fitness, diet, nutrition, weight loss product, diet program, healthy weight loss, weight loss online, lose weight now, exercise equipment. So as you can see, guys, it goes on and on. Um, and again, the more keywords and the more terms you give Google, um, the more specific and the more re you know real targeted you're gonna get. But again, guys, this is, um, a technique that you should be using. It's a technique that allows you to get LSI keywords um, and I don't know any other technique um, out there that allows you to get LSI keywords as simple as this and LSI keywords that Google themselves are grouping together and they're basically telling you what they are. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I hope you put this to good use and if you have any issues or if you have any troubles and feel free to make a post, uh, sorry, to leave a reply and I'll try and help you out. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the video.